What can you eat in Germany and what does the Germans eat? First, nearly everything and second, that differs from region to region, but we will have a look at this. Germans usually and traditionally have at least three meals a day. First, the breakfast. Depending where the day starts, schools usually start between 7.30 and 8.30, the Germans have their breakfast between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock, on sun and holidays even a bit later. For breakfast, Germans have slices of bread, sometimes toasted, or bread rolls. Depending on the individual taste, with cheese, ham, sausage, or sweeter with jam or a sweetened hazelnut cocoa spread. Germans usually don't use marmalade or peanut butter. On Sundays, they have also eggs, scrambled, fried or boiled, and sometimes sausages like a Nuremberger Bratwurst or boiled sausages like Wiener or Frankfurter. Some also like to have cereals or muesli for breakfast. Sometimes Germans prepare additional Butterbrote, bread and butter, for a second breakfast at work or in school at about 9 or 10 o'clock. In Switzerland they call this Znuni. We usually have lunch at about 12 o'clock, in general not past 14 o'clock. Lunch is usually the main meal and warm. Here we have a wide variety in dishes, mostly made of three parts. A side dish like potato, pasta or rice, sometimes also bread. A meat like a sausage, a schnitzel, fish or roast. And vegetables. But also soups, stews, pan dishes or things like a gratin. Sometimes they serve a salad or soup at first course, then the main meal and a dessert at the end of a pudding, ice or a fruit salad, especially on Sundays or holidays. At the weekend Germans tend to have Kaffee und Kuchen, coffee and cake in the afternoon, like the tea time in England. Or just have a coffee break like the Swiss Zwiri. In the evening the Germans have dinner, usually between 6 o'clock and 7.30. At 8 o'clock in the evening there is Germany's oldest and most popular news program, the Tagesschau. Again, the Germans tend to have bread with cheese, ham or sausages, sometimes with additional salad or with something warmed up from noon. A few Germans have changed the warm meal from noon to the evening, as sometimes no one is at home around noon. If you are invited to Germans for 7 o'clock in the evening or later, you don't have to expect to get a dinner unless it is mentioned. If you are invited for a coffee in the afternoon, this may be just a coffee, not necessarily a cake, maybe some additional cookies. But if it will last a bit longer and you have a good time, it may be that you will be also invited for dinner. Again, this might be just bread, butter and something on top. Also, if kids are at friend's house and they have so much fun on the weekend or in the evening, they are often invited for lunch or dinner. If Germans have guests, they usually offer something, tea, coffee or water in the afternoon or in the evening, sometimes also a beer, a wine or some lemonade or juice, depending what is available. It is fine to say yes. There are other cultures where you have to deny you certain times, but if a German offers you something, it is fine to accept or even deny if you don't want. As mentioned in the video about beer, it may be the offered beer is not as cold as usually if the guests were not expected and the beer was not in the fridge. If you get a drink, don't expect ice. Germans do rarely have ice cubes if they were not prepared. As Germans often drink carbonated water, this feels fresh even if it's not ice cold and could be used to mix it with juice, for example, to make an Apfelschorle. Sometimes there may be invitations like a Mitbring party, a bottle party or potluck where the guests bring some things to drink or food. If you are not used to this, just ask. Sometimes the host gets the drinks and the food, comes with the guests or at a beach or in a park, all come with their own drinks and food often to share with each other. 
I was invited to a wedding eve party where every guest was asked to bring a potato salad. There were lots of different types. I loved it. Potatoes are very important in Germany. While originally from South America, the potato was used to replace a parsnip, as a potato only needs one year to grow. According to a legend, the Prussian king Friedrich the Great, or the Old Fritz, tried in 1740 to let the farmers grow potatoes, but they didn't like them. Then he planted the potatoes in his own acres and ordered some soldiers to guard the plants. The other people were keen to know what was guarded there and tried to get a look and get a plant. The soldiers were also ordered not to guard too well so the farmers could get a few plants and started growing potatoes for themselves. Potato sorts in Germany usually have female names, historically according to the name of the farmer's daughter. Potatoes are prepared as boiled in salt water or boiled in skin, as mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, pommes frites, you know the French fries that were invented in Belgium, also potato fritter or fried mashed potato, often when you had more mashed potatoes than you needed. We also know potato grain, dumplings or even knuckle or gnocchi. You can also prepare them as a jacket potato or a few years ago potato wedges became more popular. At the end we also can have potato soup or potato stew and soon you will see some more varieties. Germans are famous for sausages, schnitzel and roast and therefore eat meat. But they started to eat less meat. In 2022 they ate about 25 kilogram of meat per citizen and year. These are about 29 kilogram of pork, 12.7 kilogram of poultry, very often chicken, and 8.7 kilogram of beef. In Germany in 2021 there have been slaughtered about 25 million pigs, 3.3 million cattle, 1.2 million sheep, 25,264 goats and 3,000 620 horses and countless poultry. There is now a growing number of vegetarian and vegan alternatives for patties, sausages and schnitzel. Germany is also the country with the highest percentage of vegan drinks among new drinks. If Germans don't want to cook for themselves, they also go into restaurants. This is done about once per month, 52%, sometimes once a week, 14%, in bigger cities and among employees, even more often if they eat in a canteen, 25%. There are typically two kinds of restaurants, the fast food restaurants and real restaurants. For fast food, there are the typical American chains like McDonald's, 1,400, 32 or Burger King 750. Sometimes you find Subways and occasionally a Kentucky Fried Chicken. German chains are Kochlöffel 80 and Nordsee 375, while Nordsee usually serves more seafood. The typical local fast food restaurant in Germany is a Frittenbude at Chippy. There you usually get French fries, bratwurst and schnitzel with different sauces like curry, sauce chasseur or a paprika sauce. The most popular fast food restaurant are the Dönerbuden with about 18,000 in Germany and about 1,600 in Berlin only. Overall there were about 33,000 fast food restaurants end of 2021. So more than half are Dönerbuden. Sometimes there are food trucks and very popular are grilled chicken. There are another 30,000 restaurants in Germany, from local cuisine to pizzerias, some Greek or Vietnamese, Chinese or Japanese restaurants, as well as some with cuisine from France, Spain, India, Thailand and also from the rest of Europe and the world. In 2022, 372 restaurants in Germany had a Michelin star. But what is this local cuisine like? What are typical German dishes? 
let's make a culinary trip through the 16 German federal states. We start in the Saarland, the smallest territorial state at the French and Luxembourgish border. We have a Dibbelabes, a ring cake with potatoes, onion, eggs and cream and metwurst. Similar cakes are also available in parts of North Rhine-Westphalia, known as Pothocke. Gefilde are filled raised balls from raw and cooked potatoes, served with sauerkraut and a bacon cream sauce. Geheirade is a mixture of potatoes and duff boy with jerky. We move north to Rhineland Palatinate. The former Chancellor Helmut Kohl loved the Pfälzer Saumagen, originally a meal for poorer people that put the rest of older meals in a casing. Today it is filled with potato, pork, spiced onions and other ingredients depending on the region. A Zwiebelkuchen onion tart is, as the name says, a tart with onions and bacon, like the tart flambé from the Alsace. Nonsen are fried pastry traditionally for carnival. Further to the north we have North Rhine-Westphalia. In the east, in Lippe, there is a traditional picket, a kind of pancake made with potatoes that could be eaten sweet or savory. In Cologne you can get a halve hahn. What sounds like the half of a chicken is a rye bread roll with a slice of gouda. That sounds weird? Yes, but it is Cologne. A specialty from Aachen are the Aachener Printen, a type of Lebkuchen like a gingerbread, but really hard to bite, famous around Christmas. At the north coast we have Lower Saxony. Very famous is Grünkohl mit Bregenwurst and Bratkartoffeln, curly kale with fried potato and a special regional sausage. Depending on the region in northern Germany, the sausage changes and also sheet ribbit belly is used. In the capital Hanover, there is a famous Zungenragu with an ox tongue. A sweet dessert is a Welfenspeise, the Welf pudding. A two-layered pudding with one layer of vanilla milk and a second layer of stiffly whipped egg, named after the House of Welf. The smallest federal state is a town of Bremen. A traditional meal in the north is Lapskaus, a dish made of potato, salted meat, corned beef and beetroot. It looks a bit strange as it is mixed together into a light red mesh, but it is delicious. Freit Stinte, Stintes are small fishes that travel from January till March upstream the river Weser. It was a food for poor people, but now it's a delicacy. A typical dessert is a Bremer Rote Grütze, the red fruit jelly. Other than other red fruit jellies, the Bremer version has also cherries. Another city and federal state is Hamburg. It's a famous fish mark. You have to have a fish brötchen. A bread roll with fish, no matter if it is salmon, matjes, the pickled herring or fried herring, you have not been to Hamburg if you do not have eaten at least one fish brötchen. The Maischolle, a my place, is a flat fish with northern sea shrimps. And as we are next to Germany's biggest harbor, we also have the Hamburger Aalsuppe, eel soup. This kind of soup is very popular along the coast, but the hamburger version has also dried fruit and a sweet sour flavor. At the far north end of Germany we have Schleswig-Holstein next to the Danish border. In the morning you could have the famous Holsteiner Kartenschinken on your bread for breakfast. At noon for lunch Schnüsch is a traditional vegetable soup also known as Snusk in Denmark. And as a sweet you will have Mehlbüttel und Grote Hans, a fluffy duff boy with stewed fruit or, if you like, it is savory with a pre-boiled sausage. We move to the east to Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. As Mecklenburg-Vorpommern has a coast to the Baltic Sea, as well as the Mecklenburg Lake Plateau, there are more fish dishes than 
almost anywhere else in Germany. So we start with a Stralsunder fish soup, a fish soup from Stralsund. You even can get lots of smoked fish of any kind here at Trout. But as the cuisine is very hearty, you may like the Mecklenburger Pflaumenbraten, a roasted pork with plums. We move to the south to Brandenburg. If you have forest for hunting, you may have a Rehbratwurst with sauerkraut and bratkartoffeln, a deer bratwurst with sauerkraut and fried potatoes. If you want to stay vegetarian or vegan, you may like quark with leinöl curd with linseed. As Brandenburg is part of the Prince Pückle region, we have here a famous ice, the Fürst Pückle Schnitter, the Prince Pückle sandwich. Surrounded by Brandenburg, we have the city and federal state of Berlin. Falscher Hase is a meatloaf made of ground meat. Sometimes it was made in a form similar to a rabbit, so Falscher Hase means false hair. Königsberger Klopse are meatballs with creamy white sauce and carpers. We couldn't leave Berlin without the currywurst. That has been invented by Hertha Heuwa here at her food stand on 4th of September 1949. This is a so popular dish sold all over Germany that Herbert Grönemeyer made a song upon the currywurst. And together with French fries we call this Mandaplatte. We move on to the south, to Saxony. I go for the Sächsischer Sauerbraten. We have a lot of different sauerbratens, marinated pot roasts all over Germany. They are often made from roast beef, but there are some recipes with horse meat. The Leipziger Allerlei is a famous combination of vegetables we use to several dishes all over Germany. It fits very good to every kind of potato, pasta and most meats. Bambus is a kind of pancake made with potatoes and buttermilk. We move to the middle to Saxony-Anhalt. We start very simple with eggs and mustard sauce. When it comes to a wedding you traditionally have several courses and one is a kind of soup. For these wedding soups we here have an example the Altmärkische Hochzeitsuppe. A famous sweet pastry is a Baumkuchen, a pyramid cake with an old tradition located in Salzwedel. We move again south to Thuringia. Here you have to taste the famous Bratwurst of Thuringia, maybe together with sauerkraut and potato salad. We also have Thuringian dumpling with red cabbage and a beef olive or roulade. Representative for many other regions I will enter here the Reibekuchen or Kartoffelpuffer, the potato fritter or potato pancake that is fried in oil and served sweet with applesauce or golden syrup or hearty with salmon and horse radish cream. In the middle of Germany there is Hessia. Frankfurter grüne sauce, the green sauce from Frankfurt is well known and you should taste it if you are in Hessia. Himmel und Erde, heaven and earth, is a combination of apples from the heaven with potatoes from the earth together with a fried blood sausage or blood pudding. Come on, just give it a try. The Salzekuchen is a hearty sheet cake of rye bread duff with different toppings according to the regional recipes. Again to the south we go to Baden-Württemberg. The region is famous for their Maultaschen. They are also called Herrgott's Pscheißerle, cheating the Lord, is similar to a ravioli. The legend says it has been made by monks in the land to cover the meat inside. The Schwäbischen Maultaschen have to be made in Swabia. Linsen mit Spätzle, lances with spätzles, are a simple but delicious and nutritious dish, often with boiled sausages. Schupfnudeln, rolled noodles, are another specialty of this region. And now we come to the region many people think all of Germany is like this and all eat pretzels, Bavaria. 
but even here we have more than Bratwurst, Schweinshaxen and pretzels. The Pichelsteiner Eintopf is a colorful and tasty stew with different meat and many vegetables. It is very important that Franconia is part of the federal state of Bavaria, but the Franconians are not Bavarians. So they have their own cuisine and, for example, the Lieberknödel, Frankischer Art, liver dumpling, Franconian type. And to have a sweet ending, we will have an Apfelstrudel, an apple strudel. For more Apfelstrudel, you just hop across the border to Austria. Are you hungry? I hope you saw that there are many different regions with different cuisines. I could only give you a tiny view on just some examples, so you have many dishes you could eat in Germany beyond the schnitzel. I deeply recommend to try Grünkohl, Linsen mit Spätzle and Pickard. I entered some links to certain recipes for the dishes in the description. Just give it a try, especially if you will not come to Germany or to the region too soon. Tell me what do you like for breakfast and if you tried one of the recipes, what was the best? Thank you for watching and see you next time.